Okay, so to find coterminal angles, remember the coterminal angles have the same initial and terminal side. So I look at this angle and I look at this is going to be negative 2 pi over 15. So if we were to kind of draw a little circle here, well, if here, halfway around a circle, right, here's our initial side, halfway around a circle is pi. But since our denominator is 15, that means I'm breaking this up into 15ths. So I can write this up into 15 over 15. Now, since we're going in the negative direction, I'm just going to give that a negative, uh, negative value to give me, to let me remind me that we're going in the negative direction. La 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 la, right? Man. So I'm only going two of them though. So I'm just going to estimate and say roughly it's about there. So my angle only goes from here to here, not very far, right? Now remember, coterminal angles have exactly the same initial and terminal side. So if I started here and ended here, but right, let's say instead of ending here, I actually go around a whole more distance of how much more? 2 pi, right? 2 pi would be a revolution. That means to find one coterminal angle, what I could do is I could add 2 pi. Now, all right, the other way I could do this is rather than keep on going in the positive direction, why can't I go actually in the negative direction and go from here? So what I have then is 2 pi minus my angle. Or I could just say uh, my angle you know, minus 2 pi um, was also going to, or to give me that negative direction, it'd be um, my angle minus 2 pi. So that's the same thing. I'm just going to do negative 2 pi over 15 minus 2 pi. Now, so how are we going to relate this? How do I write, how do I subtract 2 pi over there? Well, remember 2 pi is, in terms of 15, is the same thing as 30 pi over 15, right? Because that can re redu reduce to 2 pi. 30 divided by 15 is 2. So I'm just going to rewrite this as 30 over 15. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, the reason why I want to do that, ladies and gentlemen, because remember, when you're adding and subtracting fractions, you have to have the same denominator. So now, when I get this up, I get 28 pi over 15. Here, I'm going to subtract, and I'll get negative 32 over 15. So what that means is my angle, when I do 28, Twenty-eight. Um, that's not what's negative two. Oh, crap! Negative is different. 